this particular uh, proposal in the light of whether it is in America's national security interest to go forward with that agreement. I am not advocating cutting off relations with Russia. I am not advocating a reignition of the Cold War. I am advocating for actions that will make it very clear to the Russians that there are long-term consequences for violation of the norms of international behavior. But I will still support proposals and agreements between our two countries and other countries that are in America's national security interest. Yes, motion. Hey, Senator, I just wanted to follow up real briefly on Carl's question, because yeah. you equivocated a bit, and sorry to make it awkward with Senator Lieberman standing beside no, you. Never awkward. But uh, I wanted to know whether you thought that his comments last night politicizing the Georgia issue were out of line and whether you're calling upon members of your own campaign, your own surrogates, to refrain from that. I, I have to, and I'm sorry to be repetitious, this is no time for that. This is no time for that. The time now is for America, United States of America, to act united on behalf of the people of the country of Georgia and not do a lot of partisan sniping. When this crisis is resolved, and I hope that it's soon, I hope that in the next 24 hours that Russian troops will be withdrawn and negotiations uh, are initiated so that there is an agreement. And by the way, I remain concerned about the issue of Russian, of Georgian territorial integrity. And then we'll move on back to the to the back and forth of, uh, of campaigning and comments back and forth. Yes, sir, in the back. And I'll go to you next, man. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Gordon Trowbridge from the Detroit News. And I apologize for asking a parochial question, but there, are, do so. there, there are a number of uh, proposals making the rounds in Congress right now for loan guarantees that would uh, help the auto industry. There are a number of analysts who believe those guarantees are crucial to keeping uh, 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 the possibility of bankruptcy at bay for those com uh, companies. Um, uh, among the people who's working on that, th those proposals is Congressman Upton, who's a close, close ally of yours. I wonder if you had a chance to look at any of those proposals and whether or not you support them. Could I say I, I have heard many of those proposals, but I've also had meetings, as you know, with the big three automakers. And they are confident with the new hybrids, with flex fuels and other technological advances, which will not only help the auto industry, but create tens of thousands of jobs throughout Michigan and the heartland of America, that they can succeed. So I, in all due respect, I worry a little bit about us predicting failure on the part of the automakers when they're striving mightily, having made agreements between management and labor on health care issues and pensions, that, that they are expressing to me their confidence and success with the adaptation of new technology. Now, I will be glad to consider proposals to help the auto industry, including investing in pure research and development, uh, $5,000 tax credit for someone who purchases one of these new uh, uh, automobiles that are either hybrid or electric or flex fuels or others. But at the moment, for us to somehow predict the doom of the auto industry uh, in America, certainly the big three, I, I think is frankly not timely at this time, and I don't want it to be a self-fulfilling promise. Yes, ma'am. Andrea Isom, Fox 2, Detroit. Um, Senator, you um, are obviously trying to be positive, as we all are here, but you know people are struggling. They're very excited and enthused to see you back here in Michigan, Michigan again. What can you tell people on a positive note about what your immediate plans would be for states like Michigan as far as getting us back going and recharged again economically? I think we have to keep people's taxes low. I think we have to fix the housing situation perhaps more efficiently by allowing the homeowner to go down and obtain a 30-year FHA guaranteed loan at the new value of the home. I think we need to invest quickly in, in nuclear power plants, which would create 700,000 new jobs in America. We need to devote our efforts and our energies and tax credits and incentives for these new automobiles, which Americans will buy. I am confident uh, we'll, there will be an enormous market for uh, these new automobiles that I think the innovation and technology and productivity of, every, of the workers in Detroit are the best in the world. Um, 
And I think we have to give them some hope and confidence that we're going to get government spending under control as well. But I believe that the energy crisis right now, the people are paying $3.75 or whatever it is a, a gallon, even though the price of oil has come down some, is something that, a need, that people need uh, some immediate relief on. And I'd also like to give them a, da a gas tax holiday so that they have a little bit uh, of relief. Uh, but these are very tough times in Michigan. These are very tough times in the heartland of America. And I know that Americans want both immediate and long-term relief. And frankly, one of the ways that they would feel a little better is if Congress went back into session and addressed the energy issue rather than going on a five-week vacation.